Dwayne here, phoenixcatbrader.com. Got a Hermes 2000 here on the bench that has been reworked, cleaned, serviced, repaired, got new feet, repaired the spacebar action, carriage action, all kinds of stuff. This needed everything, and it is working great. So let's take a look and see how this is working. And we're going to do a couple things here today on camera. So let's type on this real quick. So first thing we're going to do is change a ribbon. So I put this heavy duty, heavy ink ribbon on here. And it's bleeding a little bit. You can see a little bit of red tint on the bottom of those characters. Maybe the O right there, you can see it. It's not showing up too bad. There's definitely a tint there. I believe it's because this ribbon is a heavy inked ribbon and the, uh, the uh, border between the black and the red is a little blurry on this one or a little blurred. It's just heavy ink and those have a tendency to do that. Let's take this ribbon out and uh, let's take it out of the reverse guides over here first. Reverse over here, reverse over here, and we'll uh, prop this up here and take it out of the uh, guide right here. Without having to touch it. But I have a feeling I'm probably going to have to put fingers on this ribbon. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this ribbon's out of here. Like that. So. I carry two different levels of ribbon. That one there that I just took out was heavy ink, and then I have regular regular density ink here, which has a much uh, more direct line between the black and the red. So I think that's, that's the culprit with this one. So let's put this guy back in here. When you install these ribbons, just make sure the eyelet is wound within the spool, the reversing eyelet. Put the ribbons through the... Uh, Reversing arms here on both sides. And uh, that way it will do automatic reversing. And put this through the guide up here. And we'll see how this one works. I bet you it works a little better. It's probably not quite quite as dark. But it might be. The other ones, the other ones are almost too dark sometimes, or too uh, too inky. Let's put it that way. I just get a little, a little too much, a little too much ink saturated in there. Okay, so that's in there. Very good. Let's see how this works compared to a I'm gonna type right right above that line we just did. Let's take a look here. Yeah, you can kind of see the uh, oops. Just about as dark, but it doesn't have that little red tint to it. Good deal. All right, well, let's look at the margins on this typewriter, too. This has some tr pretty tricky margins. Not tricky, but they're kind of like magic margins on Royals. Here they are right up here and over here. So if you grab the carriage with the carriage release button here, you can move the carriage 
any way you want. Same thing on this side. So let's move this carriage and butt it up against the uh, right margin. So the right margin is right there, and the left margin is right there. To move that margin, you have to hold this carriage with, use this finger here to free the carriage up and then grab this lever, push it down, move it to the edge, let it back up. You can do the same thing on this side. Move the button down, move to the edge, let it back up. So now our margins are all the way to the edge. What you can do here is put the carriage where you want it. If you want the margin to be right there, all you do is press the button down and the margin is going to slide to that spot. So it just did that. And the same thing on this side. I can find my carriage release button there. So the margin is there, but if you want it right there, all you got to do is press this down, and now it's right there. Right there. You can also kind of, with the carriage release, release like this, you can just kind of grab this, push it down, move the carriage wherever you want it. Wherever you want it to stop at, you let the button up, that's where the margin will be. Same thing on the side. So I'm going to grab the carriage, push this down, move the carriage wherever I want it, right there, let's say, let it back up, and the margin will be right there. So that is the way margin for on Hermes 2000. The only other thing to look at on these machines is the carriage lock is right right here what you do is grab that so this is carriage release you grab the button beneath it and move it up push it in and then it locks the carriage to release it you have to push it back up move the carriage release it so when the carriage is over this direction push those two up Put it in the center, it locks in the center, let it go, it's all locked in there. To release it, again, all you do is push it back up, move the carriage, let go of those buttons, and she's ready to go. So that is carriage lock. Margins up here are kind of like magic margins. And a Hermes 2000 types like a dream. Nice, nice typewriter. All right, Phoenix typewriter. Good day.